subscribe to my channel click on bell icon to get notification about new video chapter 1 working of the constitution introduction the textbooks of political science till now have helped us to take an overview of local government the values and the philosophy of the indian constitution as also the governing structures created by the constitution and india's place in international relations the indian constitution has declared its objective to establish a secular democratic republic secular means not connected with any religious or spiritual matters also it has made extremely important provisions to ensure that the citizens get justice and their freedom is protected the indian constitution is seen as the means through which a progressive developed society based on social justice and equality will be established the constitution came into force on 26 january 1950 and since then the government has been working in accordance with the principles of the constitution in this chapter we will take a brief overview of the wide ranging nature of indian democracy important changes that have taken place in its political process and steps that have been taken to establish social justice and equality this review will primarily focus on three areas one democracy two social justice three judicial system democracy political maturity democracy does not merely imply a representative structure the essence of representative system is to integrate the principles of democracy in actual practice essence means significant feature integrate once this is done democracy becomes an integral part of the political life of the society integral part means important part accordingly the indian people have direct representation in the parliament state legislature and local government holding free and fair elections at regular intervals is an important indicator of india's successful democracy the increasing participation of the people in the political process and political competition shows that indian democracy has become successful to a great extent right to vote the indian constitution has made the provision of right to vote for adults in the pre independence period several provisions existed which restricted the right to vote all such provisions were cancelled after independence and the indian constitution guaranteed adult suffrage by giving the right to vote equally to both men and women above the age of 21 years adult suffrage adult suffrage is the right of citizens in a given society who are entitled to vote in an election the voting age was later reduced from 21 to 18 which gave opportunity of political participation to the young generation in india such provisions have made india the largest democracy in the world india has the largest number of voters compared to any other democratic nation this change is not only quantitative but also qualitative as new political parties are emerging with the active support of young voters these parties represent various expectations of people and compete in the political sphere decentralization of democracy decentralization of power is central to democratic government decentralization of power means transfer of decision making power and assignment of accountability and responsibility for results decentralization controls the misuse of power and also creates opportunities for political participation for the common people 
The directive principles of state policy include the provisions for democratic decentralization. One such important provision is regarding empowering the local self-government make genuine democratic governance a reality. After independence, several attempts were made towards democratic decentralization. One such important attempt is the 73rd and 74th Amendment to Indian Constitution, which gave a constitutional status to local self-governing institutions and also increased their powers. Role of Judiciary The judiciary in India has played an important role in strengthening democracy and helping to make towards achieving the objectives of social justice and equality. While interpreting the provisions of the constitution, the judiciary has always taken into consideration the fundamental objectives of the constitution and also the intentions of the constitution makers. We will try to understand the contribution of the judiciary in this regard with the help of following points. In this chapter, we took a review of the constitution and the working of the government on the basis of the constitution in the context of Indian democracy. There are many challenges before India's democracy. Government's acts and policies have not put an end to all of the problems. There are several new problems confronting us. However, what is important is that the people in India have developed a democratic mindset. In the next chapter, we will study the election process in India.